And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host Kenneth Grunfelder and it's great to have you guys here on this Thursday, May 23rd. We have a lot to talk about on the show today. Before I get into that, just want to remind you guys as always, and spoiler alert for the second segment, but to tip or donate and get your comments recognized, make sure to go to the following link, that is gsmcpodcast.net. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is gsmcpodcast.net. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment down below. So, with that being said, let's get into what we are going to talk about for today. So, we're going to start off the show, talk about some things Roger Goodell had to say on the 18-game season that we could eventually get to in the NFL. Also, more international games on the way. I know, I think I've done a segment on that before on a previous show, but there's also talk about a game being potentially played in Australia now. So, I just wanted to get into all that. Uh, to start off the show. Then in the second part of the show, I know you just saw it, but we're going to talk about the Dallas Cowboys schedule and go through their entire schedule, talk about some of their intriguing matchups. I'll give you my win-loss prediction, early win-loss prediction with their schedule. I know yesterday when I did the Eagles, I said they'd win about 12, 13 games based off of their schedule. I am high on the Eagles. So with the Cowboys, like I said, we'll do the same thing, win-loss prediction, And that'll be the second part of the show. Then we'll talk about Aaron Rodgers in the third part of the show. He had some comments on, you know, how he feels coming off of the Achilles injury, where he's at currently, and also just embracing the pressure that he's going to be feeling going into this season. Then we will talk about Charvarius Ward of the 49ers, talking about how the Super Bowl loss is going to fuel the 49ers to get back to that point and try to win the championship in 2024. So I'll get into that his comments, and then in the final part of the show, we'll talk about Justin Fields and his comments on competing for the starting quarterback job with the Steelers between him and Russell Wilson. And I don't know if you guys can hear in the background, but it is a torrential downpour right now outside of my house. Um, It was fine before I, well, when I was getting ready for the show, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just started downpouring outside. There was thunder and lightning, and it's just, yeah, and I and I got to drive to work uh, in about two hours, so uh, hopefully it's. I, I think it's going to stop by then. It's gonna it's gonna be better when I leave. But yeah, it's just. I I, I mean I don't think it, this has ever happened where it's been like just downpouring while I've been doing a show. But I don't know if you can hear. I mean now you can't. Now it just calm down a little bit. But yeah, so that was going on. But yeah, let's get into now the first topic, which is talking about Roger Goodell and some of his recent comments on certain topics 18 game season more international games so i know i talked about the 18 season uh 18 season game so yeah we have 18 weeks but now he wants to add another week to the schedule and yeah so this was these were comments made on the pat mcafee show i think because that's when i i talked about this on a previous show but Basically, to kind of reiterate things, an 18-game schedule would involve reducing the preseason games from 3 to 2, and this would schedule the Super Bowl during President's Day weekend, which I did talk about um, on a previous show, like I said. And Goodell, of course, emphasized the need to consider players health, player health, safety, and game quality. Any changes would, would require agreement from the NFL Players Association. So... Um, we'll see how those negotiations go, but I mean, I don't, I don't think players are going to be happy with it. Now, I think Joe Burrow brought it up. You'd have to include a second bye week because those, it's just too many games. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, I think that's going to be part of, you know, them talking it over, and that might be something that gets included in this is teams will have more than just one bye week which I agree with 100% and then a couple of other things that he talked about as well so Tom Brady's ownership stake in the Raiders so progress is being made on Brady's Brady's ownership stake but the issues involve um, uh, with him now becoming a broadcaster with Fox that's something that I think is kind of holding things up there Yeah, because it is interesting that he's going to be broadcasting games, but he's also going to be, you know, have 
well, they're working on processing that whole thing. But, yeah, it's going to be interesting, him being a broadcaster and also being a, a part-time owner of a NFL team. But, yeah, we'll see how that all goes. And then he did talk about uh, the tampering stuff with the Falcons and the Eagles. Uh, there's no updates on the reviews um, with the uh, investigation there. Also, he did say that Pittsburgh is going to be hosting the 2026 NFL draft. He said that. Um, but, yeah, so the, the other thing I wanted to talk about is more international games. So, Goodell aims to offer more international regular season games. 2024 had three, uh, is going to have three games in London, of course, in the UK. Um, one in Germany and one in Brazil. And then 2025, there's going to be a game in Spain. And this is Goodell's vision, basically is playing 16 international games within 10 years, aiming for 8 or 9 in the next few years. And, again, one of those games could be now in Australia. And that is 14 hours ahead of, of you know, Eastern Standard Time, and while Germany and Spain are 6 hours ahead. So that's another thing that they're going to have to navigate through is the different time zones. But I think, you know, they'll figure it out. But, yeah, so... You know, we're really, they are really leaning into these international games. And because, they're, they, you know, they're trying to grow the game, which I understand completely. And again, this, this like, like I said before, with the 18-game schedule, I don't think there's going to be players that, certain players are not going to be too happy with having to, you know, fly out to different countries and have to play and, and adjust to the time zone and things like that. But that's what they're going to ultimately that's what they're going to ultimately going to have to do, you know? So, um, and I, I mean, I think it's now for the fans, I think it's awesome because for fans that, you know, live in these different countries that don't get to see American football, I think that's going to be a great thing. They're going to be able to watch, you know, if there's, you know, fans of certain teams that live in these different countries, they're going to be able to see their team play in person if they go to these games. So I think that's great. And they're trying to grow to the game and, and maybe, you know, put a franchise in one of these countries. But, again, for the, some of the players, probably not too thrilled with having to, you know, because, again, for teams, you're going to have to, you're going to lose a home game. And I, I think, you know, certain fans of certain teams are not going to be happy with that. They're already not happy with it. I mean, J Jacksonville fans, some of them are probably not happy that, you know, they basically live in London. Now, I mean... I'm just exaggerating, but you know they they've been, they have multiple international games. They were there against the Falcons last year and also the Bills. So you know, and for the fans that are in Jacksonville, it's like, well, we're missing out on our team. You know, we want to see them playing over he back in the states, but but you know, Jacksonville is one of those teams that plays overseas a lot. So, but yeah, I mean, again, this is stuff that's going to happen down the line. Uh, I mean, I, I think. Having a game in Australia, I mean, now we got a game in Brazil this year. I mean, it's it, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, and like I said, with the eighteen game schedule, um, that's more down the line, and there should be multiple bye weeks then, if that's the case, if they do add another game, and I know I said for people that will have off on President's Day weekend, and that 18 game schedule gets implemented that's going to be great for them like i said i might not be one of those people that has an off day the next day but you know that's good for you know my parents you know my uh, my aunts my uncles that's good for them but you know for me and you know my cousins my friends i mean we're probably going to be working the next day anyways or some of us at least so that doesn't really impact me but like and i did say this when i talked about the 18 game schedule if this happened while I was still in school, that would be great. I mean, I think there were there were years where I, I think took off the next day or, or at least went in late because I know, I know when the Giants won the first Patriots Super Bowl, I did go in late the next day. I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I probably did it. I probably did it the the second time too. I know I went to the parade because I didn't go to school. And I think someone leaked that information to one of my teachers. 
and they weren't uh, they weren't happy about it. But I, I don't know how I remember that. This is like, you know, many years ago. But or I, maybe I might have said like, oh, I'm gonna be going to the parade. I don't know. I don't remember. But this was a long time ago. But yeah, if, if this was something that happened when I was younger, I, that would be great. But you know, for for uh, for younger football fans, uh, th th that'll be something good for you. You get to watch the Super Bowl in your home the next day. So, but let me know what you guys think though about. Uh, some of the stuff we touched upon i know i went through uh some other stuff as well with tom brady you know they're trying to get this uh this done with um him having that stake with the raiders but it's being held up right now um but let me know what you guys think about the 18 game schedule how do you feel about that or 18 game season and uh more international games and where do you think they should uh, what other countries should they try to play games in if you have any ideas so we're going to take our first break of the show, and then when we come back, we will discuss the Dallas Cowboys schedule. I know, I think I did say that I was going to do them towards the end of the show, but I'm kind of, I bumped them up a little bit. So, yeah, they're going to, th this is the uh, the second segment. So, make sure to stick around for that. So, we will be right back. We're going to take our first break. So, stay tuned, and we will be back shortly.